Yeah. Didn't realize he even had a hand. And there's the instant call by Kane, of course, with the aces. Tough play for Ray. Oh, boy. Ray Cartumi imports granted. He's a businessman, plays poker for a hobby and bench right now. You got to save between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. He could lose all his tile right here, Mike. We're giving away $50. It's very simple. Here's how. Step one, go to WPTGlobal.com. Step two, sign up using bonus code YT77. Step three, deposit at least $1. And you better act quickly because we're only giving away $50 to 100 people. Well, there we see the chip count. Kane Callis from Philadelphia well out in front with over 14 million in chips. Darren Elias with 8 million and Blake Bond in third place with 7.7 .7 million. There you can see first place prize, 843,000 here tonight at Brigada. Here we go. Oh, that's a beautiful Hublot watch that our champion gets as well. That's right. In addition to all that money. The antes are 20,000, blinds 8160. Ray Cartumi, quick full by him out of Spring, Texas. Now Darren Elias from Cherry Hill, he won't play into Blake Bond from Minneapolis, 42 years old. He's got ace four, seems to like it, Mike. Yeah, Blake has 1.7 million in career earnings. Second in Minnesota in career earnings to only Lyle Berman, yeah, Vance, Hall of Famer. Yeah. Guy that funded the World Poker Tour and helped get it going. Well, Blake has made it 360. Jose Serratos out. And now Aaron Overton also with an ace four. He's a local, he won't play. Into the chip leader, Kane Callis. Well, Kane has a junk hand, a Jack Four offsuit. He is going to play this pot. Calls 200,000 more with this lousy hand out of position. Now we know he's an aggressive player, but is this taking it a step too far? Kane, can he get lucky? No, not there. Ace, eight, six. Aces for Blake Bond. Kane's going to check, and Blake Bond, poker professional. Gotta like his ace. He's gonna bet it. 425 into the chip leader, and Kane has had enough. He's gonna muck the hand. All right, so Blake Bond, former college baseball pitcher, taking down the first pot, trying to hit a home run tonight. Can he do it? We are just getting started. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. Action going to Darren. Darren Elias, one of the most respected pros on tour, made the final table here at Borgata back in season 10. He's back again. Quick fold by him. And now Blake Bond again with ace nine. And he's going to raise it up again. Won the last spot raising with ace high. I'll try it again. Jose out. And now Aaron Overton from Philadelphia. Calls himself the Ginger Ninja. Aaron mm -hmm. Sorry to hear it. He goes out. Kane, <laughs> our chip leader, not going to play this hand. Ray Cartumi, businessman from Spring, Texas, gloves the World Poker Tour. He actually finished 13th in WPT Championship here a year ago, so he loves Borgata as well. He's a granite dealer, plays poker as a hobby. What do you do now with the A7 offsuit? He gives it up. Good laydown by him. And Blake taking down his second consecutive pot here, so off to a real good start. Sits in second chip position now. Look, everybody's having fun at the Monster Bar. All right, back to the action. Action on Blake. This time with a nothing hand. We'll play that mess into Jose Serratos. Yeah, he's one of Bluff's ones to watch here this season on the World Poker Tour. He won't play. Back on Aaron. Ginger Ninja, as you said, he likes to call himself. Won't play that mess. Kane Callis now, the chip leader with an attractive King Jack of Diamonds. Raise it on the button here. He's going to make it a total of 380 to go. Back on Ray, the granite man, and he will fold it. Now Darren Elias. And Darren has an interesting jack, eight of clubs. Well, Vince, Darren and Kane, by far the two youngest players at this table. The two most feared players at this table and the two players many expect to play heads up for the title are now going to get involved right here yep. as Darren makes the call. And the flop is a king 10-9. Callis hitting kings. Well, Darren has the open in straight draw, as you can see. He checks. 
Kane well out in front right now. With the Kings and a straight draw. Kane bets 580. Darren. I'm going to make the call with the open end straight draw. On to the turn. And the turn card is a queen of clubs. Wow. Look at that. The dream card for Darren Elias. Not only does he have a straight, he has a straight flush draw. He checks it. And Kane, of course, hitting the straight as well. Both players have the same straight. But Darren on the jelly roll, as we say. Kane Callis, 25 years old, making a nice bet. Close to 1.1 million with the straight. Now, Vince, if you're sitting in Darren's seat, you know how aggressive this guy is. Yes, it's possible he could have an ace jack. Or if you raise it, you go all in and you go out if you don't hit your flush. And on the other hand, if you just call here, maybe he doesn't put you on a straight, maybe he'll bluff at the river as well. And that's what Darren is doing. He is just calling, not raising in this situation. It surprised me a little bit. I would think with a straight flush draw, you're going to hit it here. Well, let's see if he does hit it. Down to the river we go. Can Darren get lucky? No, it's an eight. Well, as the cards lie, this is going to be a split pot. Darren is checking, not only because he's fearful of an ace jack, but also he wants to give his opponent an opportunity to bluff at this pot if he doesn't have the straight. Now, we see Kane has it. We know it's going to be a split pot. Whatever Kane bets is going to get called by Darren. So this is definitely going to be a split pot, but it's fun to bet when you have a straight here. Well, <laughs> Kane is going to bet. <laughs> Close to 2.4 million, and there's the insta call with the straight. And they both realize now nothing ventured, nothing gained. No emotion shown by either player, no. as you can see. Just business as usual. Chip and chop it up. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Two great young players battling here. Well, Darren, certainly one of the most highly respected pros on tour. There you see his wife, Judy, in the house tonight. They live in Cherry Hill, New Borgata. Jersey, so New Jersey people trying to win here at Borgata. Okay, on to the next hand, a couple folds around to Kane Callis, who picks up the weapons of mass destruction, the pair of aces. Wow. Vince, so all these guys think he's the most aggressive player at the table, which he has been. And now all of a sudden he picks up the big Duke, two aces. And right behind him, Ray Khartoumi picks up an ace jack offsuit. Uh -oh. So many times it would be the best hand against Kane in this situation. Ray on the short stack at this table. Vince. He might fall into the trap. I think you have to raise here with this hand. I really do. It's just going to be unfortunate for him. Kane's got two aces, but. Hold in. Oh, boy, he's yeah. done it. You can't blame him for doing it. No. Up against the most aggressive player. You're on the short stack. You pick up ace jack on the button. Darren's You're just going to ship it here. Yeah, Darren out. Blake just sitting back here. Oh, yep, yep. Just didn't realize he had a hand. And there's the insta call by Kane, of course, with the aces. Tough play for Ray. Oh boy, Ray Cartumi imports granted. He's a businessman, plays poker for a hobby and bench right now. You got to save between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, he could lose all his tile right here, Mike. He's been playing poker for eight years, and right now I think he may need his biggest draw out ever in eight years to stay alive here. Kane Callis, the chip leader in a great dominant position, ready to crush his opponent. Here come the flop. Well, the jack on the flop. Okay. So Ray in the hunt here if he catches a jack. Always a sweat. It's never easy, is it? Ray has jack. Ray with a little hope. Let's go to the turn. Not going to work for Ray there. Five of hearts. So we are down to the river. Ray knows he needs a jack to stay alive. He gets up. River card at Brigada. Will Ray get lucky? Let's see the river. Here it comes. It it's a deuce. So that's going to do it for Ray Cartumi from Spring, Texas. Vince, the guy finished 13th in the WPT World Championship here last year. The first event for Brigada this season. Get to the final table again. Quite a show. That is Ray from Spring, Texas, springing off the table. Got to take home 174000 Let's go see what he has to say. I was short stack and I ran to really big hand and doesn't hold up. So I'm very proud to make it that far and uh, I'm happy for to be here in the final table, WPT. We're giving away $50. It's very simple. Here's how. Step one, go to WPTglobal.com. Step two, sign up using bonus code YT77. Step three, deposit at least $1 and 
you better act quickly because we're only giving away $50 to 100 people. All right, action on the Ginger Ninja. He calls himself Aaron Overton. He has a King Jack. He is going to make it 350 to go, it looks like. Next on to Kane, and Kane has done it again. He's got aces again, Mike. Just unbelievable. You're supposed to pick up two aces once every 220 deals on average. Kane has got him in back-to-back -back hands. Thinking of how to play it this time. I think you're going to make a small three bet with him for sure. That's what he's done. 755,000 to bet. Darren Elias out. Yes, and now it's on Blake. And look at this. He's got queens. What a horrible time to get them. Oh, boy. The baseball pitcher could get a sore arm here, Vince, if he's not careful. Oh, whoa. And he is reaching for big raisin chips. Yes. Blake has three raisins. Go over three million. Wow. Remember, Blake is in second chip position, but the chip leader has two aces. It's a stacked hand. Cold decked. Is Jose going out? Aaron out, of course. And now back on the man with the hand. The pair of aces. Kane Callis from Philadelphia, 25 years old. Come on. And call. he's going to go push all in. And a quick oh. call. All in and called. An ace again. Blake can't believe it. He saw the guy have aces the last yes. hand. He's got him again. And what a pot this is. The two chip leaders are playing this pot. If Blake wins this pot, it'd be a massive chip leader. I have both suits open. <laughs> well, Blake trying to find a positive there. Says he's got both suits open. In other words, spades or hearts would give him a flush, but he needs a lot of help to win this pot. My suits are open, so I should be fine. <laughs> so he's staying positive, but he is sick inside. Here come the first three. Oh, wow. And Jack would give him a straight. <laughs> oh, it could get very painful in this room shortly. Blake is smiling here because he knows opportunity is knocking now. Here we go with fourth street. It's a nine, so we're down to the river. Blake must catch a jack or a queen or he's going to be our fifth place finisher. Huge river card oh about boy. to appear. Will the ump call him out? That's the question. River card. It's an ace. Ace is full. For Kane, is going to take down that pot. That's going to do it for Blake from Shakopee, Minnesota. And he is shocked, Vince, that Kane can be so lucky that many times in a row. That's right, it's a big effort by him. He is stunned right now, like you said, but he will take home 213,000 and a bad beat story. Let's go see what he has to say. Oh boy. You know, the reason I made a big re-raise there is I wanted to look a little bit bluffy, like I might have, you know, nines or tens, and he might re-raise with the chip lead there to try to move me off with the short stack. And I knew what the amount of chips I was putting in, I was always calling, you know, he had aces and, uh, I bricked out, so obviously disappointed, but you know, I'm sure there'll be more for me to come. Well, Blake, you don't have to explain anything. Brutal excitement here at Brigada as four players remain. Kane Callis, a monstrous chip lead with over 24 million in chips. And Vince Kane once bowled a 299. In the last two hands, he was perfect with two aces, knocked out two players. We're down to four. All right, back to the table. Kane Callis will look at his cards first. Good fold. Oh, Good it folds. It folds finally. Yeah. yeah. And now Darren with a queen eight. He's got the button. And he is going to raise it against the two short stacks. 325 total. And now it's on Jose. And Jose, look at the four deuce folds that. Aaron now. Aaron Overton. They call him the Ginger Ninja. Ginger Ninja, he's going to fold this as well. So Darren Elias taking down that pot. Simple as that, ABC, one, two, three. Give me the money. Darren Elias, his third WPT final table. He's hoping the third time is a charm. Sorry. 
So the blinds are 8160, and he's 20,000. Darren Elias going to raise with ace three. Jose. Out of Detroit, won't play. Aaron Overton now. Aaron's going to look at an eight, seven. And he goes out. And now our chip leader, Kane, crushing this table so far tonight. He's got the six, seven, Vince. He's got a gazillion chips, so you're going to make a call and see a flop here. Yes, he can afford to speculate, and he does so. These are the two chip leaders, the two young guns, the two guys most people expect to play heads up for the title. Let's see if it'll happen, but no help on the flop to either player there as it comes queen 10-8 offsuit, and it goes check, check. Yeah, Darren with no continuation bet going to the turn, pairs the board with a 10. Kane's going to check it again. Now, Darren, as you can see, has the nut flush draw. But you hate to bet and then get check raised because then you don't know what to do with it. The board's paired out there, but. He's got over 8 million, though, Mike. He can afford to. Well, he's not a timid player, bet. Vance. He's yeah. going to bet in that spot. And he does so. And takes down the pot. He's getting warmed up. We're coming back. Four players remain here on the World Poker Tour. Well, there you see the chip count. Kane Callis has a huge chip lead, over 24 million in chips. Darren Elias in second with 8.6. Jose and Aaron on the short stacks. Yeah, what drama we're seeing from Atlantic City at the Brigada. When action's on Mr. Detroit, Jose Serratos. He's just got a 9-10. He will not play that. On to Aaron Overton from Philadelphia. Plays here all the time. He won't play here, though, on that hand. Round to the chip leader, Kane Callis, the youngest player at the table with 25. Looks down to the 9-8. Started this event with 1,226 players. We're down to these four. What a tremendous effort by these guys to make a final table battle. Four-headed poker. Vince Kane Callis does not need aces to raise a pot. He raises with a lot of hands, including this one, a 9-8 offsuit. That is right, close to 500,000 to go. Darren Elias is a defender. He doesn't like to give up chips. But this time he just looks at a jack four offsuit. Yep, he is like a trying to read a brick wall. Almost impossible. Great poker face. He's going to lay it down. I think you have to lay that down in that situation. Just let the guy have it. Move on to the next hand. So Kane Callis picking up that pot by Raisin with the 9-8. All right, we're battling on the Atlantic City coastline at the beautiful Borgata. Action on Kane. He's got ace nine. If he can raise with a 9-8, he can raise with an ace nine. And he is. He has raised into Darren, and Darren's got King 10. Not the strongest of hands to get involved with, but Darren Elias is just not afraid to play pots either. And he makes the call. And to Jose, who hasn't had many hands, he'll fold that. Aaron goes out. So two-handed action between the two chip leaders, Kane and Darren. And here is the flop. It's an 8-4-4, helps neither player. See if Kane will make the continuation bet. He didn't do it the last time. Kane, a very talented poker player, but also a great singer, classically trained. Yeah, looking to go into broadcasting like his dad and his brother. But loves poker, moved to Costa Rica, played online poker down there, and now he is showing off here in his hometown with this tonight, and he is going to make the continuation bet. 790. Vince, I got to tell you, Kane and Darren both just two super nice guys, as well as terrific poker players. Darren, of course, thinking this through. Great racquetball player. Said, nope, he's had enough. Well, Will the Thrill always thought he was the best racquetball player out on the poker tour, but he made his match when he fussed with Darren. That's right, Will said that Darren has the edge on him. We're giving away $50. It's very simple. Here's how. 
Step one, go to WPTGlobal.com. Step two, sign up using bonus code YT77. Step three, deposit at least $1. And you better act quickly because we're only giving away $50 to 100 people. All right, it's on Kane again. This time, nothing hand, and he actually folds. Alert the media. Now on to Darren, who's got a nothing seven deuce of diamonds. We're just gonna raise on the button because these two other guys have been playing so tight. They're both on short stacks, so why not try to steal their blinds? Come on. Now Jose with ace eight finally gonna take a plunge, says all in. Yeah. Jose, can you see all your chips in the pot? Yes. Aaron out. Back on Darren. Oh, it's over 900,000 more to call. I just can't imagine he's gonna make a call with a seven deuce. Your head. I know. <laughs> Jose from Detroit. Sweating it out. We need it. He liked the we action it, now, man. but he's not gonna get it. You'll take, fold, right? You'll take the fold, right? You'll take the fold. Huh? You'll take the fold. I don't know. Yeah, Jose wants to watch. Could be an up and coming player, certainly. Very impressive debut on the World Poker Tour here. Yeah, he says he loves the WPT, watches all the episodes. What I'm impressed with, Vince, is he actually went online and asked people if they wanted to invest in him in this championship event. He sold shares of himself 60% to online investors, and they are getting rewarded for his efforts this week. All right, Andy's are going up to 25,000. Blinds are one in 200. Quick fold by Darren. Mullen. And now Jose again going to plunge away. He has gone all in with a king nine of spades. Yeah, that's what you have to do when you're on the short stack. So I've got about eight big blinds, so you have to ship it. Aaron out. And Kane cannot compete with him. So all of a sudden, Jose Serratus warming up. He's got some chips, four players battling for the Pagata Poker Open. This is exciting.